guys, it's Manisha here. I'm back today to share with you some new stamping plates I purchased. Um, not so recently, I think I've had these for, for at least over a month, maybe a couple of months, and I just haven't had a chance to get around to um, sharing these with you and even trying them out myself. I've just been really busy. Um, so they're from the um, company called Hehe. So I, IU Hehe is actually the company name and the stamping plates are called Hee Hee. So these are part of the science collection and there's um, 12 plates in the collection and they're numbered from um, 85 through to 96. So I um, have bought the whole, the whole set. I bought them on the day that they were released because I really do like their stamping plates and the designs and images are always quite different from um, other companies so um, today I thought I might actually share them with you but because there's 12 in the set um, I don't want the video to get too long so I'm going to do them in um, sets of four so um, I'll link down other um, he -he plate shares that I've done in the past um, down below so you can um, look at those videos too uh, so, sort of getting into it, um, they all come in these little cute little cardboard sleeves, um, which is really sturdy and the plate number is clearly marked on the outside. Um, so you basically go ahead and open it and the plate's just inside, but on the back of it they've got just very basic step-by-step um, -step instructions, so they're just um, pictured through from 1 through to 6 on how to um, use stamping plates especially if you're new to it. So um, the plates all have the Hehe logo printed on the back. That's how you know that they're actually original ones. Um, there are a lot of fakes out there, a lot of people aren't aware of them, but um, only the original ones will have the Hehe logo on the back um, and they'll come in these cardboard sleeves so that you know that they're actually um, originals. Um, and so they all have the blue protector film on the front and um, I've had a quick measure up there, um, five and a half centimetres across and if you work in inches there, um, two and a quarter inches across. So to be able to use um, them you do need to remove this blue um, film from there, from the front which is fairly easy to do um, and that's what they look like there. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and um, get them all out and I'll do some still shots so you can actually have a close-up look and see see what they look like before I do some swatches of them. Okay. And um, these are the two polishes I'll be stamping with. So we've got a Born Pretty stamping polish which is black. And then I've also got um, OPI, it's a silver canvas from the Colour Paints collection. So it's actually not a stamping polish but I know that it does stamp quite well. And I'll be using my Born Pretty store um, stamp head, it's just in a Moe London holder and also my Born Pretty scraper as you can see it's one of my favourites and I use it a lot. So um, I'm going to be swatching onto um, pop sticks so we'll see how these go. If I have any trouble with any of the polishes I will definitely swap them out and use something else instead. Okay, thanks. Sit back and relax and enjoy. There we have the swatches of um, Hehe Plate 85. Um, I was really pleased with how these ones came out. That black design on top of the gold just looks amazing. So I think you'll be seeing a mini on my fingers shortly with that design on it or at some stage when I get around to it. 
Um, but yeah, the, I mean the plates are really etched excellently. Um, I didn't have any trouble at all with um, pick up at all. Um, I mean this one does look a little bit fuzzy and I think that's actually my polish because it's not a stamping polish. But I was really pleased with how that one turned out. So that's plate number 85. to 86 so this is the one that had the dinosaurs and these little fronds I think they're like ferns or something um, and unusually a palm tree so I thought I'd better swatch the palm tree and it's actually come out really good as have all the little details on these feathery looking leaves so I was really pleased with that and that's plate 86 and again no issues with um, pick up or transferring of these images Here's plate 87, again no problems at all, those images transferred really well. I'm not actually sure what they're all called, um, but they're really cool. Um, I do like this sort of lightning bolt through the circle there, I think that's really cool. And I'm, I'm wanting to swatch that one at some stage soon as well. Um, but overall, uh, really cool images, quite different from anything I've seen before. And again, no problem with transferring those images. plate number 88. Uh, this is the one that had the really cool um, solar system and a rocket and a shooting star and I'm not sure what that is but I have to swatch it. So that's that image there on the gold. I think it's something to do with star signs because I can see um, star sign symbols in there. Um, but again no problems with picking it up. All the little fine details have all transferred perfectly on there. The little um, space rocket and the shooting star are really, really cute um, and they've um, transferred really well as well. So um, that sort of wraps it up for plates 85 through to 88. Um, I hope you have enjoyed watching this. I'll definitely get onto the other plates pretty soon and leave links for any past hee hee um, plate reviews and swatches that I've done. Um, I hope you have enjoyed this and um, again thanks for watching, definitely subscribe if you haven't already done so um, and I'm on Instagram as well so you can just look for me, aim as my YouTube um, channel, you can find me there, I um, try to post things on YouTube um, at least twice a week if not three, usually it's nail art tutorials and designs that I've done. Um, but every now and again like this I will definitely do um, some new stamping plate reviews or product reviews 
um, for you to hopefully enjoy and learn something from. So leave any um, comments or questions down below in the comment section. I'll try and list everything that I've used in this um, video down in the description box. And if I've forgotten anything or you want to know anything else, definitely leave a comment and I actually answer to everybody. So, um, yeah, thank you for tuning in and have a great day and we'll catch up soon. Thank you.